thank you so much for checking out my video today. It's cold here in Buffalo. Just the other day it felt like spring. Now we're back to winter. It's snowing and I'm freezing my butt off. But I got something for you that I want you to check out. It's the all new 2024 Eclipse Cross brought to you by Mitsubishi. Now, unfortunately, I got the SE trim. The SEL is better because it's gonna have a heated steering wheel and leather seats, which we'll take a peek in right now, actually. So as we jump inside, this is what we have here. A nice imitation carbon fiber like plastic with electrical ups and downs. A nice sporty plastic border trim there on the door handle release. A cool little place to put a Coca-Cola. And these are your back seats. A nice armrest. And I always like to look to see if it's nice and straight. Some of them like to slouch down and I'm not a fan of that at all. I think this might actually open. We have to check this out in a second because that's what Volvo does. This opens so you can slide things through. But it's a very nice looking interior, even though we don't got leather seats here on the back. USB type C and a USB port. You got a cargo net just on the passenger side, not on the driver's side. I wonder why they did that. Then it comes equipped with panoramic sunroof. This interior is called Black by Mitsubishi. There's no special name to it. It's just a black interior. But on the outside here, a little bit more pizzazz. This isn't just a normal white. This is a diamond white. And I'm sure if the sunlight hits it, it will sparkle. Of this gorgeous looking vehicle here, I gotta turn on the lights for you guys. The back really stands out from the crowd. It's got a very nice pronounced spoiler here. And I like how the tail lights blend seamlessly in this futuristic design. Super all wheel control. We have a rear tinted windshield on the back with a nice windshield wiper, which I'm happy to see. So for the wheels, they're a little small here. They're 18 inch two tone alloy. They do stand out from the crowd. I like to see brakes on all four wheels. Bridgestone, all season tires. <laughs> you feel that wind? I might get blown away trying to make this video here. It's whistling, it's howling. We're out here trying to make videos. Feels like it's 25 degrees with this windshield right now. Oh, woo. Let's take a look under the hood and see where it's powering this vehicle. Okay, so we gotta find the lip right here on the inside. And there's not going to be telescopic bipods. There's a manual stick that we have to use to keep the hood open. Let's put it in the slot there. Under the hood, we have a 1.5 liter MIVEC DOHC four cylinder direct injection engine. And there is a turbo attached to it. It's gonna be very good on gas. The gas mileage is gonna be insane. I just checked, the gas mileage is a little lower than I thought. You're gonna get 25 miles per gallon in the city and 26, mile, and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. Fascinating, usually you see this on more powerful engines. It stops deformation at high rates of speed. Let's close the hood before it falls down on me. This thing was literally wobbling off its hinges. Put down and continue with the tour. And they have a very special name for the shocks and the suspension on this vehicle. Front McPherson strut suspension system with a stabilizer bar, which I just showed you guys in the front there. Rear multi-leak suspension with a stabilizer bar. Let's take a look at the inside here. It's an eight speed CVT transmission system. And here's a look at the steering wheel. It really catches your attention when you enter inside of it. On the SEL trim, you're gonna have a heated steering wheel. This one isn't heated. And like I said before, the seats will be leather. It's really stacked with features. You got a lane keeping assist where it alerts you if you veer outside of the lines. 
It could take off traction control and take off the alerts that if you come too close to a parked car. Here's our armrest. You have an option to remove the tray there. And it's very deep well for storage. I present to you the Eclipse Cross key fob. It has an internal key, which I'll take out for you. And you could use this to gain access to the vehicle in case of a catastrophic battery failure. It goes back in discreetly. And it's a very simple key fob. It's got your lock and unlock. <laughs> and you can pop the trunk with it. No automatic start on this one. So let's open up the back and see how much trunk space we got. Like on the Nissan Rogue and the Mitsubishi Outlander, they got a lock and unlock button there. Or you could do it manually to close the, the back hatch here. With a privacy shade. Always a huge fan to keep things hidden discreetly inside. You know, if you bought a brand new Xbox, people can't look in and peek. Love that option. You could take these seats down so you could have extra storage room. And let's see if it comes with a spare tire. And I'm very pleased to see that there's a spare tire in here. Lots of cars are trying to save, lots of car makers are trying to save money and not include a spare tire. And that's a no-no for me. Ready to go with a jack in the whole nine yards. Huge bonus points to Mitsubishi on this one. Usually gotta press it twice to fire it up. Very small, cute infotainment screen here in the center. The resolution could use some help but it will get the job done. Hazard light options, climate controls, USB ports, and then you have an eco mode. This is your gear shifter, and then this is how you change the drive modes. Gravel, normal, and snow. Look at the old school heated seat option that it has. This is, there's a look at the glove box. Navigation system. All set up and ready to go. Connect your phone to it, and it's not gonna have wireless charging. Let's fire it up. Just wanted to show you real quick how it looks with the lights on. This GoPro isn't doing it justice in person. It's a lot more vibrant and brighter. You got your turning signals on, this blinks. And I do like the daytime running LEDs and the fog light option it has. Very nice. Let's get a POV test drive view. A lot of cool features on this as well. When you put it in a park, the side mirrors automatically close in for you. There's actually really cool features in here. I don't see this a lot on other cars where you could automatically open and close it at a push of a button. But this I like auto hold button here is very handy. When you're at a stoplight, you press it. And when it's in drive, you can put your foot off of the brake and it stays still for you. Auto hold. Here's your emergency parking brake. And the suspension ain't that bad. It feels good. And it's got some get up and go to it. Very happy to see that. Well guys, thank you so much for checking out my video today. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Yeah, I like it. It feels good, you know? It's very affordable. MSRP, I believe it's less than $20,000 on the SE trim. 
So it's a very affordable vehicle. 